We gotta get it. Is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Just trying to replenish some supplies. In the last episode we dropped last night, everybody stop. Everybody just calm down. Stop, whistle, 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 whistle. In the last episode we did last night, uh, oh, that's on me. I was like, where is that metal I just had? We went ahead and made a couple of the Mosasaurus saddles and did some stuff and things with that. And we did use up a bit of my supplies in order to do it. And Zuljin mentioned that over at the metal foundry where he um, was getting some metal, there was some extra, and he would help me to replenish my supplies. So that was really cool. So I decided to take advantage of that offer and grab some metal here. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. I want to start off today by saying, in and amongst a lot of birds, thank you guys so much for all your support, likes, and nice comments and stuff and things like that in the ARC videos. I really, really do appreciate it. It really helps me out. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the like button for me if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe for more Spark stuff and things action. I have no idea what that was. But yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. All right, so here we are. We're going to be doing some baby dino breeding today, as you can see from the title of the video. But to start off with... I thought we would do something a little bit different. I think over here we've got... Oh, we got a little bit of metal, and then we got some obsidian, too. But I thought one of the things we'd start off with today is by giving a gift. So, uh, Zul'jin kind of gave us a gift of a bunch of metal stuff and things. And I'll put this obsidian away in a second, but I thought we'd fly over here. So, over at Z's new base in the swamps, it's super hot, right? So, he's got, like, a collection of basically, like, cloth and leather armor that he's been keeping. And we've been saving some. You can see I got a ramshackle cloth hat, ramshackle cloth shirt, ramshackle cloth boots, journeyman cloth boots. We've got all this stuff. Actually, I think I have some other things too. And over here, journeyman hide gloves, apprentice cloth shirt, ramshackle hide pants. So I think we're going to go ahead and make a box up. I may actually already have one. Nail the days to can't be stopped. We need to make a sign as well. And then we're going to head over to Z's base and we're going to give him a little bit of a present. And we're back. Look at Zuldin's red barn, man. This thing is crazy. It's like a real barn. And he's got his plant species X plants around here. And he's just hanging out right here. He'll never know what we're doing. It'll be a big secret. Did he see us? Probably. <laughs> so can we fly like in? Oh, we're like in his house. All right. So right inside of here, I think, is where we're going to do this. Let's go ahead and get our box like so. Hopefully we have enough spaces inside this box. We'll stick it right here. Oh, yeah. And then inside of there, we're going to put ramshackle cloth shirt, apprentice cloth shirt, ramshackle cloth hat, journeyman cloth gloves, journeyman hide gloves, ramshackle hide pants, ramshackle cloth boots, journeyman cloth boots, and apprentice hide pants. And then we'll grab our sign. And we'll put it right here. And all we'll do, this is all we're going to do for set sign text. Just going to put a slippy heart. Does that look good? It looks terrible. <laughs> we'll put a slippy art. That's it. So that he knows we sent, came down here and gave him a gift. So yeah, but his barn looks awesome. You know, one of the funny things is like when I first ever started watching Zul'jin uh, play Minecraft, he actually, um, I remember seeing that he had built a big barn in Minecraft and um, I really liked it. I thought it was really, really great. And I just thought it was kind of interesting. It was coincidental-ish that uh, he went ahead and built one here as well. Why are you snakes falling from the sky? Um, <clears throat> snakes on a plane. Or snakes no longer on a plane. All right. So we're going to head over here now. And we're going to do a little bit of dino breeding. Now, I feel like I kind of want to do a little bit of... I want to give you guys some sort of informational diagram, possibly. You know what? We got to get... Because I want you guys to understand how this is going to work. And we're back. And now... I've been, I've fully prepared to show you what it is that I want to show you. So I've created this diagram on the screen you can see now. And I'm going to move these dinos around while I show you this diagram. And I feel like it's self-explanatory, but I think that I'll also, just to make sure there's no confusion, explain it to you. So in the upper left-hand corner, first you can see that there is a dude and a lady Tyrannosaurus Rex, obviously. Now, when the dude lady or dude Tyrannosaurus Rex and the lady Tyrannosaurus Rex fall in love and hold hands for a while, 
then they will make an egg. Okay? So when the egg, and then the egg, wait, hold on. So they'll make an egg. That's it. Stage one complete. Now, the second tier, you can see the egg needs to be either experiencing some sort of temperature difference, hot or possibly cold. And then eventually that becomes a baby dinosaur. Nailed it, HD can't be stopped. Obviously, the simplest and most amazingly complete explanation of dinosaur breeding that you've ever seen today. Over here, we have... Now, there's all sorts of other stuff and things that goes on to it. In fact, this is kind of an interesting system where it does take some traits from the uh, each one of the dinos uh, from their untamed statistics. And those traits meld and have a possibility to come out in the dino. So, actually, to be honest with you, this is my... I mean, I'm fairly new to this, but over time, we could get you know, super dinos. You could breed dinos to become even better. You could take, and, and most often, or most likely, this will be the case where you're going to want to take two 120th level teams. Now, both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Hi, Wi-Fi. Why is your name weird? You need to have a better name than that. Both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are not 120s. So I think their 116 was Wi-Fi and 112 was Bluetooth. But we're going to use them anyway as an example here. Also, it's super great that it's foggy. Uh, love you, the fog. Not really. All right, so we're going to pull them over into this elite direction. We're going to kind of trap them a little bit. We'll put them over in the corner here. So the way that this dynamic works, and this is my first time doing this, so we're experimenting together. But the way that this is supposed to work is you put the dinos on wander. Gosh, we can't see a darn thing. So you put the dinosaurs on wander mode, and they will eventually find each other and hold hands to make a baby. So let's go ahead and... Let's wait for the fog to go away, and then we will continue on our adventure of making dinosaur babies. Are you guys ready? You're going to do it. Are you excited? Welcome back with 80% less fog. All right, let's see if we can do this. So we have to go. Now, not all things can mate, but it's supposed to say... Oh, no. It doesn't say the special thing it's supposed to say. It's supposed to say, enable wandering to mate. That stinks. So it looks like we can't get these guys to mate. Um, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys. Is, am I reading that right? Did I? Let me just double check this one more time. Let me come over here and see. Is it really not there? Enable wandering. It doesn't say to mate. So it looks like maybe right now we can't do T-Rexes. Okay, I was not aware of this. Um, I didn't tell you guys about this, but um, the other day I was out and about. So I was getting stone. I was on Do the Dodicarus, who I still haven't named yet. I got to go back and look at you guys' name suggestions. I'm totally sorry. I forgot about that. Also, there's a couple things that happened that I didn't talk to you about. And I'm so excited about baby taming that I haven't even mentioned it. Drax came by and painted all of our thatch foundations, or most of them, blue. And uh, let me gamma up for you guys. And uh, he also painted all the doors blue, which is really cool. It was something I was thinking about doing, but I didn't do because we're going to replace these with metal doors. But any hoozle, it does look baller. Thank you very much, Trax. But also, I was out gathering stone on William Shatner and on the Dodicarus and an Alpha Carno. I left the door open. I know. I left the door open. I should have shut it. And they came in and they annihilated our Stegos. <laughs> they killed four of them. And all we have now are two ladies. So we do have ladies, which is great because we like having lady dinos uh, for egg laying. It makes it a little bit easier. We do need to get a dude over here, though. So you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm not exactly sure what dinos we can we can do this with. Wait, can we see it here? There's a navel wandering. Order, unclaimed, change name, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't look like we can do it with this either. You know what? I got to figure out which dinos it is that we can do this with. I want to check out some info, peeps. And now, BRBs. And we're back. And I actually think that the Reddit post... I know, guys. I know you're excited. I know. Just give me a second. I think the Reddit post that I was looking at is actually a little bit incorrect. And what it said was, in order for them to mate, when you look into their HUD, it will say, enable wandering to mate. Now, I guess that that's just not the case. So what we're going to do is set these both guys to enable wandering. Oh, they got the little hearts. See the little hearts? They have hearts. Oh, is it happening? Oh, their hearts are throbbing. They have throbbing hearts. They were having throbbing hearts. Did you already make a baby? Was it that fast? You guys are quick. No, they didn't make a baby. Now they're just heading, heading out. No, you need to wander the other way. What if I enable wandering and I just walk you over to your buddy here? Come here. There. Get your enable wandering on. 
Get your throb on. There's the hearts are throbbing. Oh, they decided not to go. Is it that they just didn't like each other or something? Do you guys not like each other? Why don't you love each other? Make it happen. Oh, they're going to kiss. Oh, they were going to kiss. So you know what I think actually is going on here? I have a sneaking suspicion. Can I? Can I? Can you? Will you? I have a sneaking suspicion that they've got to kind of get warmed up. Let's disable wandering. Are you going to dis disable? Come over here, Wi-Fi. Come over here, Wi-Fi. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Disable wandering. Are you stopped wandering now? I feel like they need to get warmed up. I feel like what's happening is that they've got to kind of wander around a little bit, sniff each other's butts. That's what people do in the wild. Uh, sniff each other's butts a little bit, hold hands, and get ready to go. So I'm thinking what we can do to make this happen is perhaps create a little dinosaur breeding pen type deal over in this area. So I'm going to try this. And I think, I don't know if I have any more. I might actually already have some of the stuff I need. I figure what we're going to do is just right here, we'll just add two more gates in the square. And we'll make this a little area where we can pen, pen dinos off and make them do their thing and hold hands and make babies. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that going. And then we'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. And I already had the gates made. Luckily, we had them already left over from previous exploration or uh, building stuff and things. Not explore, not exploring anything. Building stuff and things. And here they are. All right, now, naval wandering, naval wandering. Now you need to make a baby. Oh, do you have a level? No. All right, make a baby. I'm just gonna sit here and watch. You guys gonna make one? I'm just gonna sit here and watch you guys. They're doing the hearts. Nothing's happening. All right, just gonna hang out. Oh, they're doing the hearts again. Oh, this might be it. Oh, do they like each other enough? No, oh, they don't like each other enough. They're not ready. Oh, there it goes. Oh, she made a, oh no, that was a poop baby. She lay up the poop baby, not a, not a dino baby. We need a dino baby. You guys are gonna make it happen? It's not every day two amazing specimens like you're such as yourselves meet in the wild. You guys should just take it to the limit. Let loose. Live free. Come on. It's, it's That's what's up. Look, he's quivering. He's so excited. <laughs> and we're back. Is this it? Drop by Wi-Fi. Eat egg. Tremendous nourishment. Or using recipes. Spoils and blah, blah, blah. Is this just a regular egg? Or is it a fertilized egg? It doesn't say anywhere on it fertilized, does it? I, I think this is maybe just a regular egg. I don't know. I'm having a little bit of trouble. It's my first dino breeding. I, I mean, I haven't watched there. I don't believe at this time there's any videos out about it or anything like that. Um, I don't think this is it, though. I think this is... Oh, God. What? 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 Just give me this back. Oh, they're doing it, I think. There's supposed to be something on the HUD. Oh, there it is. Mating progress. They're mating. Go, 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 go. Bluetooth, take it to the limit. Take it to the limit, man. Oh, they're doing it. It's happening. There it is, peeps! She laid it. She laid the incubated egg. Oh, we, we gotta get it. Pick, pick, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. All right, we got it, we got it. All right, let's get out of here. And then we've got the egg. Now, let's take a look here and see. Parents, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth actually says that. That's so cool. All right, let's drop it. And let's take a look here and see what it is we're looking for. So it says spoils in. All right. Oh, right there. Egg incubate. Too hot. All right, it's too hot here. So we can see that it's too hot. We've, we've got to get to a place that's not as hot. All right. Uh, all right. Well, what's the temperature over here? So it's 94 degrees Fahrenheit. That's too hot. We need it to be less than 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go somewhere. Um, all right. First things first. Let's go drop, drop the other egg. Because there's only a certain amount of time that we have to do this. So this may not even work. Um, let's drop this Rex egg in here. This one is... Whatever, uh, that's the one we want. Let's go ahead and get on the double. Let's just take a look here. If we fly up here, what's the temperature? 
94. Still too hot. All right, let's go over to this direction and see what we can see. So if we hold the H, does it like dynamically update? Oh, there, suddenly 45 degrees, bam. All right, so now if we go right here. Uh, no, wait, stop that, not that. H, 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 45 degrees Fahrenheit, okay. Now, take the egg. Oh, are you fertile? Too cold, what the crap? So between 94 and 45, uh, okay. So now we can just look around 95, it's too hot. 45, too cold. Uh, we need somewhere not quite as hot and not quite as cold. <laughs> and we're back. I just killed a couple raptors. A little movement speed, please. 75 degrees. Let's go ahead and check it out here. Too cold. What? What? We're, come on now. Now it has to be between 75 and 95. Like, I mean, okay. So it's really specific. Um, and... Uh, all right, that seems really, really, really specific. Between 75 and 95, possibly could you use an air conditioner to help? So no, I mean, how could we even... I guess you just kind of have to fly around to find a spot where... where it's better? <laughs> um, okay, 46, we know that's too cold. So yeah, this is going to be really, really difficult. Like, seems to be like possibly just flying around forever and ever trying to find a spot. Um, I will look for it though. 76! Maybe 76 is good? Oh, there's a spino. Uh, let's pop over here. Alright, 76. We can just try it. Just to see. We'll actually probably put this egg right on the bar. That'll be easier and they'll pop in there every time. Anything bad in the area? No. Oh no, I ate it! And we're back! After a delicious meal of a fertilized Rex egg. <laughs> We've got another egg. I had to wait a while for uh, our lady Wi-Fi to uh, to get a uh, you know ready to to procreate again, but she did, and she squirted out this egg, and we've got the spot right here. It says the egg is incubating, so it doesn't look like the timer's going. Now you can see the egg health is very low. I picked it up really really quickly. It says egg incubation. It says incubate baiting, and it spoils in seven days. So as long as we keep this going for at least seven days, we should be good to go. We've got it on this little pedestal right here. In, in our Now we're back in Poop City, by the way, in our house. I was talking to some of the guys, and um, XB Crafted has got one in his house over here incubating. And so I decided I would come over here to try this out. So... Looks like it's doing good. Oh, there the incubation thing moved a little bit. It does look like it's going to take a long time. I will tell you guys, as um, we always have been pretty upfront about this, you know, um, our difficulties turned way up on the server, so we have higher dinos, and some of our gather rates are turned up as well. There are a couple of multipliers that you can change for the egg um, things, because we had heard that Rex eggs took like four plus hours to incubate, so we have turned it up a little bit. But yeah, as you can see, it's not like drastic or anything like that. It still does take a little bit of time. So, um, I'm not sure exactly how long this should take. Probably, I think it's definitely over an hour. Um, from what I was talking, what, what we've been talking about, and the different guys on the server were just today that have been testing it out. But, um, so there you can see, we've got it going on. It's, it's, it's in a good spot. So right here it's, wait, oh, I got to turn it off. Here we go. It is 83 degrees with a fire. And if you happen to be wanting to know where this is, I mean, we're over at Poop City, but if you're new and you're just watching right now, you can see... Um, where the push pin is over there on the center island is where we're at. We're right over by where that lake is on the center island. There's Lady Wellington down there getting all of our fiber for us. But, um, all right. Smelt faster, Metal. All right, so here we are. We've got to incubate our egg. And we will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. Running into a little bit of an issue here, which I feel like is kind of silly. Um, we were at a place earlier today that was kind of cold, and I had a one fire on the egg, and it was doing good. It got a little bit colder, and, uh, two fires on the egg, and it was better. And, uh, at one point it got a little bit colder, and I've been here now for, I don't know, it's been a while, like, 45 minutes or something like that? And, um, it started to get really cold. So now it's down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 
But I've got one, two, you can see there's a fire back there. Three, four, five, six fires as closely packed around this as I can without breaking these mortar and pestles. And uh, it's still too cold. And I don't know what to do besides, I guess the thing you could do is pick the egg up. And if you pick the egg up, the timer doesn't change. Egg health stays the same. Yeah, so I guess you could just pick it up and then you just have to wait the night out and wait until it turns day. That's probably your best bet, I guess. Um, as opposed to, you know, you want to try to keep it incubating as much as you can. But like now if I was to just drop it down again, I mean, it's just going to say too cold and the egg health is going to drop. So it's not going to incubate anyway. So we might as well just sit here and wait, I guess, for the daytime to come. It already, I think, is on its way. Yeah, it's up to 30 degrees now. So as soon as it gets day, we'll come back and uh, we'll tr I'm going to try to set it down back inside of here again. That was a nice spot for it. We'll see if I'm able to do that. But just a little tidbit there, a little bit of information. Egg science, peeps. Yeah, it looks like it's gone down since the last time I looked at it because I placed it down. But as long as you hold it, I mean, your spoil timer goes down. But yeah, not a big deal. We can just wait for it to be warmer. And then we will come back and put our egg back down. And we're back. And it has been quite a thing. I've had to pick up the egg at night and then leave it here during the day. Even with, I told you guys that we had turned the timers up a little bit, it still has been over two hours that I've been watching this stupid egg. <laughs> and um, so we got, uh, Drax helped me out. We got a feeding trough out here now with a huge amount of meat in it because I hear that these guys need like redonkulous amounts of meat. Oh, it's going to hatch soon. It's going to hatch soon. Let's check it out. I can't wait to see it. Oh, he hatched out of his name. He's a guy. Oh, crap. Turn the fire off. He's a guy. All right. What does he do? What do we do? Imprint baby T-Rex. Imprint. We did it. Uh, why tooth? Why tooth? It's the thing. And maturation progress. Okay, we have to feed him meat. How much meat does he eat? Holy crap. Oh, we can only put like one thing in at a time. Okay. Oh, look at his health. Oh, oh, his health is kind of fluctuating. So he came out with 6,200 health, 1,470 stamina, 555 oxygen, 11,000 food, but we can only put... I can't put any more food in. Oh, we can only put five. That's weird. Why only five? 810 weight, 357 melee damage, and 100% movement speed. His maturation progress is just kind of standard. Can, oh, he is following me, though. Okay, can you come out here, buddy? Will you actually follow? Oh, for realties? You don't, like, move? Or are you stuck? Or what's the deal? He's, like, floaty. Why are you floaty? His... Yeah, his health just keeps doing that fluctuation stuff. And he doesn't seem to be, like... I don't know what the deal is. Um, let me see. What if we just break this? He's still doing the floaty. That is so weird. And he's not eating. Okay, there's his food. His food is just, like, floaty, too. Like, his food is fluctuating, going up and down. Oh, you know what? Probably from the feeding trough. That's what's going on. So we got that initial feed... And now he's eating out of here. Oh, man. Oh, look at it. All right, so we can stick all this meat back inside of here now. I'm on the same page. We're discovering things together. He is eating a lot of food. All right, so he's got a bunch of food in there. But his maturation progress... Oh, my gosh, guys. I don't think I can wait. Like, I don't think I can wait for him to be mature. There's just no way. And then how is he going to be mature in this house? And I can't, like, what? I can't move him around? Like, come on. What can we do here? Disable wandering. So it's cycle to aggression. Let's go ahead and Y him and then T him. He should follow me. Let's move away a little bit and see. Maybe we just weren't far enough, further enough away. Come here, little buddy. Oh, did he move? I feel like he might have moved. He did move a little bit. He's stuck. He's stuck inside of there. Okay. Come here. 
Oh, here he comes! He's a little guy! Look at how cool he is! He's so cute! Oh my god, come over here so everybody can see you! Why, why tooth? Baby Y tooth! He's so cool! Look how cool he is! He's a baby T-Rex! Oh, He's so cute! I love you, Y tooth! You will be my best friend one day! We're gonna hang out and do stuff and things together, and then you'll poop and stuff, and I'll be like, Oh, he pooped out so great! <laughs> and it'll be so amazing! You still getting your... Okay, he's still getting his food. He's level 180. So he starts off at level 180. That must be a combination of the... Yeah, that must be a combination of, like, the... I don't know. Now I'm trying to think about that. Like, the pre-tamed levels plus the... Taming effectiveness levels kind of combined? I guess that's what it must be. All right, so let's take a look at how this is holding up here. We've got a huge amount of food, but he is eating a lot. Like a crazy amount. Look how fast he's eating this food. That is insane. I mean, so you got to think. And look at his ma the maturation bar. It's like barely even a tick. So you got to think, guys, like on a regular server without the times turned up, I mean, I would say it's going to have to be hours and hours of doing the egg. So if you were doing a single player, you could still do it um, because what you'd have to do is just do your egg and then pick it up and then put it back down when you're online. Um, you know what I mean? But then after, when you're at this stage, I mean, you would probably, I don't know, like... How he, I like how he's, like, all floaty. What's up with that? <laughs> but you would have to, like, have so much meat ready to go. I mean, he's going to plow through all of this in no time. In no time flat. I bet in a couple of hours. Yeah, you'd need to have just, like, feeding troughs galore ready to rock. All right, so cool. Some interesting logistics, some arc science stuff and things going on. But at the end of the day, we got our guy, peeps, and he's so awesome. And it's so amazing. Look, he's like with us right here. This is our little bunny. Ah, uh, I'm so excited. So anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. It has been a long day, but it has been really fun. And we learned a lot. And it was so great. And we have a baby T-Rex. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, Yeah, <laughs> I'm stunned by this thing. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.